My name is Dr. Elizabeth Cusick and I am a first year medical resident at M Mather Hospital in Long Island. So it's really tough on the floors in the mornings when I'm trying to contact other medical professionals. It requires a whole team of physicians to take care of one patient with complex medical condition. So it's often trying to get in touch with consults and then follow up on labs, call the pharmacist, involve all the care provider, that's one of the biggest challenges. Curator enables real-time communications. It does it in a secure way. It tracks and follows patients that need to be tracked and follows, and it puts together that critical information for the clinicians to make decisions so that they get notified, they get communicated with, and then they can communicate with each other. The curator is great because you can actually have a conversation with another provider and alert them to what patient you're talking about and they can look up the whole patient's chart. It takes out a whole couple of minutes that I would have then had to sit down and go through the whole history of the patient. One of the things that really excited me about Curator was the fact that Curator could be used across platforms and not just mobile platforms but also desktop platforms because it's web-based then any system or any machine that has uh, access to the internet we're able to utilize and leverage curator to be able to communicate. We can't peacefully coexist with four and five and six different messaging systems in these enterprises. Um, we are going to drive these these uh, clinicians and these users crazy. Um, we're still at an age. We are not. We are not. They will. Well, exactly. <laughs> Point well taken. And we're, I mean, the analogy here is that a T-Mobile customer would not be able to call a Verizon Mobile or an AT&T customer. That world can't exist in healthcare going forward. We've got to find a better way. We've yeah. got to find a better way. I think in today's world, it's sort of inevitable that we are going to use our phone. I just think we need to find ways to do it effectively and then also confidentially so that we're not going to breach any privacy issues with patients. So if we can create tools to help physicians use it in a, in a, good, in a good way, um, I think that's sort of the future of medicine.